di ba um, he's he's made formal um, comments, formal interventions. You can you can read the speeches. You can look at the footage when he's talked about the center of memory. Um, I think the, th the the three most important directives he gave us when we were consulting with him, and this is many conversations and discussions. First one is, and this was his word, don't turn this into a mausoleum. Secondly, don't make this all about me. In other words, create space for others. And the third one was, you don't have to protect me. Which for me is a mandate to do the difficult work. Yeah, so our point of departure is that um, no legacy is simply received. Every legacy is always made and remade. But secondly, a legacy consequently cannot belong to one institution, to one uh, family to one country. Uh, the legacy belongs to all of us and um, it only has life, it only has meaning if we are interrogating it, if we are interpreting it, um, if it's a living, dynamic, changing thing. So that the role of the center of memory, and you see this play out with the Mandela Day campaign, the role is to create space for people to engage with that legacy and in the process to remake it. So with Mandela Day, we don't tell people these are the things you should be doing. Uh, it's about you do what you want to do. If you are inspired by Madiba to work with children in your community, fantastic, do that. Um, and so it becomes open. Well. I've lost track now because my own memory is not as robust as uh, the institutions, but I do remember, not in 2010, so it could have been 2009, 2008, I can't remember well now, you know, he had this um, habit, every December, gather the, the staff together and thank them for the work that we've done during the year. And on this particular occasion, he said, um, I'm going to have to thank you very well because I might not be around next year to thank you. I'm ancient now. I'm going to die soon. And he got the effect that he was looking for, which is we're all standing around paralyzed and looking shocked. And then he said, but don't worry. When I get to the pearly gates, they'll say to me, who are you? And I'll say, Madiba. And they'll say, but where do you come from? And I'll say, South Africa. And I'll say, oh, that Madiba, no, you've come to the wrong gates. You see the ones down there where it's very warm. That's where you have to go. Don't worry, when I get there, I'll ask Big Business and the ANC to help me.